when it comes to your, your willingness, because some of you are so willing to compromise. Look at this. This is a question you should ask. Is this the kind of love God meant when he created Adam and Eve? The kind between two people that truly reflects his love for us? The 1 Corinthians 13 kind? Or are you settling for less than God's immeasurably more than anything you can ask or imagine? Dang. By the way, she'll be on stage with me next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't, because you get to ask your questions. But that's more than 160 characters, so you couldn't text that in on one text. So that's a great question. She's at this service. It's a great question, baby. Love you. Mean it. <laughs> now, now keep, keep something in mind. A godly woman, and I'm mainly talking to single girls here, you're, not, you're just not going to compromise. You're just not going to compromise. Because Eve had a relationship with God, but at some point, the relationship that Eve had with God went sort of bad. And we don't know exactly what happened, but look at this. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? In other words, the first thing the serpent began to do is question the word of God. The, he still does this. It still happens. Single ladies, this is what he's saying to you. Did God really say you can't marry the guy if he's not a Christian? Oh, 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 oh. He might have said you can't marry him. But he didn't say anything about a date. It's one date. All you're going to do is go out on a date. And it don't have to leave. Listen, I know that God doesn't love Jesus. I know that he's not who you want to be with. Look, I mean, but, but you ain't getting any other offers. God didn't say you couldn't go on a date. Come on. It's a date. It gets you to question the word of God. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, quote, you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. Now, God never said don't touch it, but she said, so she added to the word of God, so she's a legalist, and I'm so glad we don't have that, the people adding stuff to the word of God today. We don't, we don't even have that anymore. So Eve told, I mean, Eve knew what God's word said. She'd even put, like, some extra boundaries in place to protect her. And the serpent said, you will not surely die. The serpent said to the woman, For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw, now, now look at this. The serpent lied to her. The serpent lied to Eve. The serpent told Eve, you will not die. Okay. Quick news flash, just in case you hadn't read the story. She died. She's dead. Nobody was chatting with her on the cell phone when you walked up on church this morning. That did not happen. Not this Eve. She died because ultimately she believed a lie. Satan told her, God's holding out on you. God's holding out on you. God just doesn't want you to have this fruit over here because he knows that when you get that fruit, your life is going to a whole new level. Eve, all you got to do is eat the fruit. And some of you single ladies, he's telling you the same thing. God's holding out on you. You've, heard, you've been in church. You've heard the teaching about hold out. You've heard the teaching about don't compromise. You've heard the teaching about don't date him or don't hang out. Can, can I, let me stop. Girls, you got to stop it. Are you dating? No, we're hanging out. That is the most lame, sick, pathetic excuse I've ever heard to hang out with somebody that you know God doesn't want you to be with. We're hanging out. God didn't say we couldn't hang out. He just said we couldn't date. Yeah, but you're hanging out till 2 in the morning and you're making out. That's just not good. So the Bible says in verse 6, When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. She believed a lie, and it led to her death. She compromised. Ladies, don't compromise. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you don't have to compromise. One of my favorite restaurants is Ruth's Chris. How many of you have eaten at a Ruth's Chris? 
hands all over the Yes, praise God. The filet mignon is the way to go. It will set you free. If you're a vegetarian, it is worth not being a vegetarian for. Or taking me, and I will eat your steak, and you can eat my asparagus. Either one. I love Ruth's Chris. Let's say that you went, Ruth's Chris, what it is, is a really, really nice steakhouse. Let's say you went to Ruth's Chris. You ordered a filet mignon. You got it cooked just the way you like it. All of it, I mean, you're just worked up. And they walk out, and they put in front of you a cheeseburger from McDonald's. You're like, I, I, I didn't want a cheeseburger. Cause I don't like these little onion things on this burger thing. I don't, I don't want a cheeseburger. I don't want a cheeseburger. Oh, this is Ruth Chris. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're really out of fillets. And we think fillet's probably not good for you. And so here's the cheeseburger. Now, you're going to have to pay the same price. But here's the cheeseburger. There's not a person in this room that would be like, well, all right. I guess that's the, I guess that's the way life is. Give me a knife. I'll cut up the cheeseburger. You would not settle for a cheeseburger when you ordered a filet. Some of you girls today, you are sitting with a cheeseburger. <laughs> Look at him, all fried up, ketchup, pickle, I mean, just sitting with it. Seriously. The only guys getting nervous right now are the cheeseburgers. <laughs> Seriously. Why would you settle? You know why, you, ladies, you know why you're settling? You don't understand how beautiful and valuable and treasured you are in the sight of God. 